Starting the server and opening Cypress is so common I do it every day. That's why I use a utility called Start Server and Test. Let's look at my dev dependency. I install this utility called Start Server and Test. Once installed, it adds a couple of aliases. One of the aliases it adds is called Start Test. I use this command twice in this example. The first one is under my dev script tag. As you can see, when I call npm run dev, it will call my utility start test. That utility will start my application. By default, it uses start, so I don't have to specify it as the first argument. I can skip it. The second thing when we start a web application is we usually have to wait for the web application to finish its building and actually respond. So that's why start test has a second parameter where you can specify a URL or just a port number if it's local host. In this case, when we use parcel to serve our application, it serves it at port 1234. So we say start test, use the default command start to start the application. Once the port 1234 responds, execute this. This npm script is Cypress open. So when we run this, this starts the application, the port responds, and it calls Cypress open, all in the same terminal. I don't have to switch back and forth. When we are done with our testing, we close Cypress, and it automatically closes the application as well. And the second script called test is for us to quickly test application. I can say npm test. This Start the application again, wait for port 1234, run Cypress in non-interactive mode, just like CI, and when that finishes, it will shut down our application. So that's how we can quickly run all our tests without opening Cypress in headed mode. One final tip. You already are using dev for something else. I prefer calling this NPM script E2E, meaning I want to work on end-to-end -end testing. 